Uh, there's a very rich, um, poetic voice that I hear myself reading in. I do it in sort of the cadence, you know, or I'm chanting it. I'm not aware of doing it. That's for the rhythm. You know, I have to get. I mean, rhythm is is almost as important as tone. I mean, I've been, I've been planning for the past week. I've been planning, writing and rewriting the first sentence of my next book. Over and over again, I sent my wife three separate versions of it by email last night, asking her which sounds best. Um, and I'll keep. I'll be doing that for weeks and weeks and weeks. But when I get that sentence right, then I'll know that I can get going on the first paragraph. When I get the first paragraph as near to right as I can get it, then I'll be on my way. I just ask her opinion. She has a, she has perfect pitch as far as my work is concerned. One of my books, I remember, she <laughs> she took me away for a weekend after I'd given it to her to read, and she said, "You can't do this. You know, you can't publish this. You'll disgrace yourself." I started bluster, and she said, "You know, bluster away, but you know yourself is not right." And of course, it wasn't. And I had to go back through it, and you know like clawing sort of grass out of a pond, you know, getting rid of the, the awful stuff that was there to leave the clear water behind. <laughs>